and Zoe coming next, James Bourne. So it took about a semester, and then I realized I was writing a poem uh, that seemed to have Robert's uh, hand in it. And I got so close that to one point, I was going to call it, um, what was I going to call it, New Century Blues. <laughs> oh, God. So I, I'm going to read uh, part of that poem, and I'll finish with something else. I ended up calling it um, Epitaphs for a New Century, so you can still hear a little echo there. And I, I suppose, if anything, it's a, a, a poetics of flux which I've been starting to explore uh, with this poem, which I've always admired in Robert's writing. So this first part is set in, in Bandra, near Bombay, in India. Take a tree, but it won't water the apple. Build cities from mud and culture with money. Death counts beyond numbers. Outside the spastic society, a white goat, chained and puerile, tries to lick its own asshole. Air was the cleanest weapon of all. Woof goes the one-eyed sentry. Nailed to wounds and in barrack shadow, the kid chewing chole sells old postcards. Idea deities for their tourists' hands that dance, as if attacked by hornets to ask, how much will it cost to get you out of my face? The unholy cow is butchered, the markets emblemize life, and there's no friendlier way to sacrifice chickens. Pay up or put up and know your place. Oh. Milk drains off, and friendships creak with the past like an old bullock cart. The dream of the cobbler possesses me. Duchamp in Acheron, Dostoevsky in London, we want to live in the sea that is not our home. No patron saints, only laser-eyed community directors. The kids are turning into chrysalides. Work, I reckon, meant to persecute. Its variant reeked. Robots of Rabota, love not sleep lest you come to poverty. The man our village calls Polish Mick trembles curtains and twitches the whip. It's action that makes a community. The good shoe will fit like a ready-made. What cannot be sold to us is fog logic. <coughs> Last one of these. Aquariums dance well, not the fish. Winter early this year, and so much bad weather as if it were between us. Why is it some painters suffer more when painting breezes, while others can hear seeds clicking in a field? Van Gogh's sunned orchard beside tile cats laving in late afternoons. Shostakovich sucker punched by the 14th, same as for Nietzsche patting stirrups. Activist or terrorist, but do not blemish the human canvas. Be still and spectral as wood smoke or grubby as old jokes. Like the one where Guy Fawkes laughs over his own ashes, the most honest man who would ever set foot in Parliament. <laughs> <coughs> and lastly, uh, this is, um, I've only seen Robert um, uh, frightened to speechlessness once. And, um, and it was when we had a pint in the grapes and we saw Randy van Valkenborch, um, who of course isn't Robert, um, but is very close to him. <laughs> and, and this is a poem about that. René in the grapes. Tension and intention, a face without a face, who would not scarce himself or Sunny side the thinking egg of his rooster. In mirrors, pleating the gold altar, Similus out apes the human ape. Fold spectacles in a top, top pocket, Scur the mausolea of water, A seahorse chariots waves, A boy draws ships 
from shadow and stone. The other, voices, the voice that speaks. The sand-faced man wheezes, cigarette laughter, inhales, shuts his eyes, but does not blink. 